In this video, I take you through a shoulder massage with some music, not too much talking, and lots of great techniques. We begin with a series of effleurage based warm-up techniques with the patient starting in the supine position. This technique is an ideal transition when moving the patient from supine to sideline. The patient is now placed in prone as we continue the warm-up component of the massage. Here I'm preparing for the more specific chest-based techniques with the careful placement of a small rolled up towel. This will provide more space behind the shoulders, allowing the shoulders to drop back and encourage lengthening through the chest.
This is a great technique where you stand on the opposite side to the shoulder that you're treating. You roll the arm towards you to shorten the tissue of the pectoralis major. You then sink into the muscle and then roll both the arm and the soft tissue away from you. This technique allows you to get a little bit deeper into the area that you're treating and also allows for a bit of a gentle chest stretch towards the end of the movement. It's certainly easier to do on male clients, but as you can see in this video demonstration, it also works well on female clients as well if you stick to the upper part of the legs. This is a brilliant technique for improving external rotation of the arm. You rotate the soft tissue in medially whilst moving the arm into the external rotation position. This technique can be enhanced with the application of a rubber floss band which will allow you to get more grip and more purchase over the soft tissue and definitely enhances the intensity of the technique. It's important for me to point out here that the rubber floss band is applied for grip on the skin and not applied for compression. With the patient back inside lying, I'm going to advance my treatments by using a couple of massage tools. One of them is the myofascial decompression pods, otherwise known as cupping and the other one is a little bit of IASTM, which is Tool Assisted Massage. I love these scapular mobilizations and include them with most of my treatments and of course in most of my shoulder massage videos. They tend to work really well and often get some great results after the treatment where the patients are able to move their shoulder easier and take more load through the joint as well. Next, this stretching routine can be used to improve internal rotation and external rotation. For the patient on their side, turn the arm into internal rotation and if possible, place the hand just behind the back like so. Stabilize the front of the shoulder and then bring the arm into as much internal rotation as is comfortable. At that point, back off slightly, ask them to push the elbow towards you and block the movement with your hand. They should push for five to six seconds and then relax and then repeat that two to three times after which 
there should be a slight increase in the available internal range of motion. Let's have a look at the one for external rotation. Bring the arm up into as much abduction as is comfortable, ideally 90 degrees at the shoulder, and then rotate externally as far as is comfortable, then bring it back slightly, stabilize at the elbow, and ask them to push their hand down towards you so that they're trying to move the arm in this direction. But you're going to block the movement again for five to six seconds and relax. To better stabilize that position, if you find they're moving their arm around too much, take your arm, bring it through like so, and it will stabilize the upper arm and the forearm at the same time. And push, five to six seconds, and relax. After two to three efforts, you should notice an increase in the available external range of motion. With the patient back in the prone position, I'm going to scan around the shoulder blade and then I'm going to use a few different points of contact from my hand, back of the fist and the forearm and elbow, then progress further into a scapular lift and then mobilise the scapula from this prone position. Here I'm using some myofascial decompression over the muscle belly of the infraspinatus. I'm now going to show a few clips of using the myofascial decompression cups, these are the rock pods, and then later again using the IASTM tools, the rock blades to show how they can be used for some of the techniques that we've already covered in this video. Make sure you watch the end of the video where I show you a few movements that you can test after performing this massage treatment.
Following your massage treatment, your client should be able to get their arm up into abduction with more range of motion. They should also have an increased external rotation and also an improved ability to internally rotate and pop their arm behind their back. Leave us a comment, let us know how you got on. And next up, have a look at this video showing on the screen here. Thanks for watching the Physio Channel.